Welcome to this special pre-holiday edition of my Fireside Chat. Thanksgiving week provides a special opportunity to reflect on why we should be thankful, why gratitude is important for all of us. It has indeed been a wonderful year at Delta State and we as a university have many reasons to give thanks. So in recognition of our progress and growth and the nature of this season, I offer 10 reasons that we as a university should be thankful at this time of the year, keeping in mind that this is a sample from our very long list. First, we're always thankful for our Delta State family, for each of you who go to class or who teach or who work here, and for our alumni and for our friends and for everyone who is a part of the Green and White Nation. You make our successes possible, you celebrate with us, you deal with us every day, and we're deeply grateful for the contributions of the time, support, contributions, and for your love of Delta State. Secondly, we are thankful for our host communities of Cleveland and Bolivar County. You know, we enjoy a special town gown relationship with the leaders and citizens of this great community, and we value that very highly. Thirdly, we are thankful that our academic units continue to grow. For example, the Division of Mathematics and Sciences received external grants worth a half a million dollars for STEM projects. And we have a record enrollment of 737 students in the Division of Health, Physical Education, and Recreation. Fourth, we are thankful that our international partnerships continue to thrive with our students and our faculty. We have our highest enrollment of international students ever, 156 students from 48 countries. We hosted uh, a scrumptious and well-attended Thanksgiving feast for them this past Sunday. And Dr. Ariza, our Associate Professor over in Biology, uh, spent this past summer at the Australian Museum in Sydney. And Chet Ogu's Professor of Painting traveled to Shanghai to teach in China for a summer residency. We have great activities going on in our international programs. Fifth, we are thankful that leaders across industries come to our campus to share their insights. Fred Smith, the CEO of FedEx, Mark Emmert, the NCAA president, and Delta State's own Dr. David Abney, CEO of UPS, are just a few of the notables who spoke this past year to great effect on this campus. Sixth, we are thankful that businesses, foundations, individuals, and others give generously to us. Among those examples that we could cite include a half a million dollars from FedEx's Purple Runway program for scholarships for commercial aviation, $3 million from the Gertrude Ford Foundation for the creation and support of our Center for Teaching and Learning, and we just received the university's largest single gift ever, $4 million. Seventh, we are thankful that our beautiful campus continues to be upgraded and be celebrated by all of those who have a chance to visit our campus. We recently renovated Ziegel Hall and the Dining Hall, created Statesman Boulevard and a landscape, Kaler White Walters, and all of these improvements have made our campus beautiful. And we're very thankful for our facilities, uh, management staff, and the whole crew for making our campus look great. Eighth, we're thankful for our initiatives to improve our academic excellence. This past year and a half or so, we identified a cap capstone requirement. Now, that is a degree requirement for all of our students in every field. And we've now also identified writing enhanced required upper level courses for each of our majors. Both of those efforts will make our students more prepared, better qualified, and more competitive in the marketplace. Ninth, we are thankful that culture remains a resounding presence in our community. We celebrate that every day. The Baloney Performing Arts Center, the Grammy Museum Mississippi, our International Conference on the Blues, our Race Relations Conference, the Delta Music Institute, and many others bring programs and celebrations to this community that allow us to celebrate the various forms of cultural development that we've experienced in the Delta and in Mississippi over the last hundred years or so. Tenth, we are thankful for our successful athletics program. For example, first baseman Zach Shannon, who played baseball for us for the last two years, was selected by the Arizona Diamondbacks to join the pros. And after 42 years of service, our athletic director, Ronnie Myers, and alumnus of Delta State will retire at the end of this year. And he's going to be succeeded by another great Delta Stater, Mike Kennison, who's had a great baseball coaching tradition at Delta State that was built on the shoulders of Booth Ferris and Bill Marchand. We're thankful for all of these people, for all of the things that they have done. 
And so as you enter Thanksgiving week, I encourage you to take a few moments to express thanks to those who have affected your life positively over the past year. We are appreciative for all of you who support Delta State. In other news on campus, our offices will be closed on Thursday and Friday as we celebrate Thanksgiving holidays. In athletic news, Statesman Basketball will take on Cumberland University at Sillers Coliseum on Saturday, November the 24th at 4 o'clock. And as always, to keep up with our events and activities and news, just visit our website at deltastate.edu. Thanks again for joining me. Happy Thanksgiving, and I'll see you the next time on Fireside Chat.